A man is accused of sexually assaulting a child in his backyard. Andrew Swanston is being held in the Greene County Jail on charges including first degree sexual assault of a child under the age of 12. 27 News has learned that Swanston worked as a special education employee at Monroe High School. Rachel Perry has been following this all day and has you covered on what the district had to say. That's right. Monroe police detectives claim Swanston forced the child to touch him while he sexually assaulted them. Now we do know he worked at a local high school, but district staff say he was just a seasonal employee and say none of the accusations took place on school grounds. Court documents show the child reported sleeping in a tent in Swanston's yard when Swanston came in and laid down next to them. Investigators say the child woke up to Swanston sexually assaulting them and forcing them to inappropriately touch him. Court records show Swanston claimed he was drunk and didn't remember touching the victim inappropriately, but admitted to touching the child's stomach in the tent, saying she's right. I'm disgusting, claiming he woke up and thought he was with another woman, but realized it was the child. The judge set his bond to $50,000 cash. Based on counsel's arguments, the court does find that there is a reasonable basis to believe that bail is necessary here to assure Mr. Swanston's future appearances in court, as well as under the totality of the circumstances as outlined by the district attorney, given the need to protect the community and specifically uh, to prevent the intimidation of witnesses in this case. I reached out to school district staff what they had to say coming up tonight at six. But for now, live in Monroe, Rachel Perry, 27 News.